Hello, my name is Craig. I'm a postdoc at Chris Harrison's Future Interface Group at Carnegie Mellon. Today I'll be talking to you about LRR, non-contact tactics using synthetic jets. So for this work, we took inspiration from LRAs and ERMs, two types of haptic actuators that are prolific for contact-based haptics. We believe that the reason these devices are so implemented so widely is because they're inexpensive, they're low power, they're low voltage, they're easy to drive, and they're easy to feel. So we asked ourselves, could we make an equivalent type of actuator for non-contact haptics? Our approach is what we call LRR. We use high-energy synthetic jets. And these actuators are low voltage, they're easy to drive, they're readily felt, easily made, and all you really need is a speaker and a ported enclosure, as seen here from the animation on the right. We developed the prototype actuator in order to showcase the capabilities of this class of device. Our contributions in this work include a design and model optimizing the acoustic resonances of the system, small signal validation of this model, large signal measurements quantifying thrust and flow velocity, and a psychophysical measurement showing the low power capabilities of these jets. Small signal modeling. We developed a multiple domain lumped parameter model which relates an input voltage to the expected pressure and flow rate of the output port. We compared this model with an electrical impedance measurement looking into the system. And here we see that the two are in close agreement. We also looked at the transfer function of the output port pressure given the input voltage. Again, we found that our model captures much of the behavior of the system. Large signal measurement. For large input voltages, the system behaves nonlinearly, and we quantified this behavior with air velocity measurements taken from a hot wire anemometer and net thrust force measurements taken from a precision balance. We found that thrust monotonically increases as voltage increases, and peak thrust occurs around 100 to 200 hertz, as predicted from our small signal model. The air velocity also increased with voltage and so showed similar behavior as the thrust. Psychophysics. Finally, we quantified user perception of the synthetic jet against their mid-palm. Subjects placed their palm roughly 25 millimeters away from the jet output, and we conducted a detection threshold test in order to find the smallest stimulus that was still haptically detectable. Detection thresholds only slightly varied with frequency, and we found subjects could detect stimulus levels as with as little as 20 to 40 milliwatts of input applied power to the system. Thank you for your time, and see the paper for more details.